Hello, it's Phantom from TheMagicCrafter.com. I have a video that I posted a while back showing you how to paint seashells. This is going to be a similar video, but it is going to be specifically for painting seashells for use in jewelry. And these are going to be kind of princessy, happy, light and airy seashells like the one you see here. I will do a tutorial for more gothic ones later, but for now we're going to stick with this. If you didn't already watch my tutorial on drilling holes, you will want to see that, and that will be in this corner right over here. So give that a quick look and then come back to this video. Here's what you'll need to create a painted seashell for use in jewelry. First, you're going to want some paper towels. I'm going to set mine underneath a piece of wax paper. You'll also want a damp paper towel for your fingers. You can use a paintbrush if you'd like, but personally, I am a finger painter. So I like to have paper towels to wipe off my fingers in between coats of paint. And of course, you're going to need a seashell with a hole drilled in it. If you don't know how to do that, again, you can check out my video and learn how to do that. Pretty easy. Make sure that you have this washed off really good. I like to use just water and I wipe it with a paper towel and then rinse it again, let it air dry. But use whatever technique you would like. And of course, you're going to want your paints. I will link the brand that I'm using in the description. It's very important that you use the right type of paint for this if you plan on swimming with it in the water. I'm going to be using Martha Stewart's crafting paint. It's a multi-purpose crafting paint that sticks so well. So well, that stuff is like indestructible. So make sure you get the right paint. I'll link it in the description if you can't find it in your crafting store. Look there and there will be links. The first paint you're going to want to use is going to be your primer. I like to do white, and this is a Martha Stewart paint, and I believe it's called Wedding Cake. And it's a satin paint, it's not shiny. So I just take some of that, rub it on my fingers. Again, you can use a paintbrush if you would like to. And then I just rub it all over my shell. This will take a couple of layers usually, unless you use a white shell or a very light colored shell. Sometimes you can get away with just one layer. But it's always best to do more just so you cover up everything and give the rest of your paint something to stick to. Since you want this to dry really good in between layers, I'm going to cheat a bit and use a shell that I painted a while ago for the next step. I'm going to make a purple and white seashell necklace with sparkles on it. So I'm going to grab a pearl colored purple Martha Stewart craft paint. It's called ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo, Eclipse. Oops, Eclipse. And I'm going to pour it right here. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to put it on my finger and I'm going to concentrate the majority of the paint at the top of the shell and then let it be a gradient so that there's more white down here, more purple up here, it just kind of fades in. It just kind of takes some practice, but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of try to show you what I'm doing. I like to dab it on with my finger. I probably won't be doing the best job since I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> but I just dab it on, and I try to fill in the gaps here between the ridges of the shell up at the top and then kind of just focus on painting purple onto the tops of the ridges as I go down. So just press your finger into there. And now I'm going to go ahead and kind of do brush strokes with my fingers so I get the gradient down here. basically what it's going to look like. You can go with another layer if you would like. Um, I can't really see exactly what this looks like right now because the lighting is pretty bad. Thanks to that wonderful time change and because I'm wearing my glasses, not my contacts, and I just can't see in general. But I think this is about right. 
obviously use your own judgment when painting your own seashell. So I'm gonna leave this shell like this to dry for a brief moment. All right, so if you wanna use two layers of that purple paint, you go ahead. I actually went back and corrected some of my mistakes. I took a closer look at the shell and realized that I kind of missed a few spots. But I'm ready for the next step. Hopefully that paint's dry. I'm going to grab a purple glitter. It is called Purple Sapphire. And I am going to squeeze it out here. And I'm gonna take that purple sapphire paint and I'm going to roll it again, concentrating up here at the top of the shell and just going about midway. I don't want it to go all the way down to the bottom because this one's pigmented and it's pretty, um, it's pretty heavily pigmented and I just want a little bit of it. You don't have to use this kind if you want. Use your, your judgment. And I use a mix of tapping motions and fanning motions or petting motions. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> I don't want this one to really go in the gaps, but sometimes it happens. Man, oh man, this is going to be the noisiest video ever. If you hear something clinking, that's my brother getting out of the shower. Uh, his friend's coming over soon. Next, when your purple glitter is dried, grab a, uh, another glitter if you want to. I'm going to be using the Sugar Cube, I think it's called. Yeah, Sugar Cube by Martha Stewart Craft Paints. And part right there. And this time I'm going to concentrate it on this bottom part of the shell and also fan it upwards. This glitter is so beautiful that sometimes I'll just slather shells in it because I just love the way it looks. But I'm gonna try to be a little more uh, conservative with it here, just because, why not? Um, I'm gonna try not to get my shadow in this. The lighting is super weird today. It's gonna be a really strange video. So if you are new to this channel, don't judge the channel by this video. Okay? Please, just don't. When your paint is dry, your shell should look something like this. You know how I said I was going to go conservative with that glitter sugar cube paint? Yeah, nope, that did not happen. <laughs> I love that stuff so much. Anyways, I hope the lighting wasn't too bad for this video or the sound. There was a lot going on today and that daylight savings time just really threw me off and just been so rainy and just like mermaid weather, but like this mermaid's not too happy about it when it comes to filming. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to make your own mermaid necklace if you would like, or your own crafts with this. Otherwise, I'll be showing you how to make necklaces the way I like to make them in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Happy magic crafting, and have a magical day. Oh.